M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yesu FT5DR. M0FXB, so let's add a repeater into our uh, Yesu FT5. So let's go into VFO mode. So VM here, that's memory, that's VFO mode. So what we're going to do is get the frequency in. So we're going to put in GB3. FI, so we we'll hold the screen like that. 430925. There's the frequency. Now we need to go to hold down the F menu here, go to signaling, and go to squelch type number 11, and then we're going to choose tone. Tone there. So, okay, back out of that. Go to number 12, tone frequency, and I know it's 77 hertz. So you're just cha changing the channel knob here at the top to select, but 77 is the one we want. You can search it as well if, you, if you're listening to it and you're not sure, just by hitting the search button. But anyway, back. So we've got the tone in there. We've got the frequency in there. Now we need to get the shift in there. So we're going to go to config right in the middle, tap that, and you've got shift here and shift frequency, so number 15, shift, we want a plus shift, plus shift there, go back, now we need the f the, the size of the shift to be correct, so repeat a shift on 70 centimeters is 7.6 megahertz, right, so that's fine, so back out, so right now we should be able to open up GB3 FI, it's a bit of a weak signal here, so that's fine, we've got it all set, we just want to tag it now. So look at the VM button here, hold down the VM button, and you'll get the, see these are the memory channels. Now white means it's spare, red is full. So we've got white 13 is spare flashing, so we'll hold the VM again. And then it gives us the option straight away to put in the name, so G, B, and then for letters tap the one, two, three. Move the arrow across if you have to, three, arrow across, back to A, B, C, there's F. Now if you want capitals, just push it, keep pushing it, it becomes capitals. And then G, B, three, F, I, across, and then hit the, hit, uh, hit, hold the VM again, and you've saved it, G, B, three, F, I. So that's how you load a repeater into your radio. Zero FXB. I just thought I'd show these side by side. There's no. I'm not trying to make a comparison. I'm just showing them. So um, let's just talk about them both. So this is uh, the Anytone 878 Mark II Plus version with the Receive APRS. You can tell the difference between the other versions because it has a green button. And also when you go into the menu and you go down to APRS. You've got extra menus here because one of them is is receive and one's transmit. It's going through the different menus. Analog APRS info there. Let's go back. Digi APRS. Go back. Just looking through. Intervals, beacon, anyway, so you get the idea, and they're both GPS. Now, if you look, see the little red thing there in the middle? That is a, a, deep, a GPS lock. Here at the top, you've got the GPS. So to see GPS, push F menu, and then go forward, so it says DISP, tap that, and you've got the GPS. Tap the GPS, and you'll get the coordinates there. Let's try again with the menu, APRS, like so, a analog APRS info, select that, and let's select one. And when it comes through it looks like that and I think you, you can scroll down and there is live info. Not sure if I can uh, just do that. No, I won't try and find it now. Anyway, so it's just an overview. So you've got the CSV file loaded here. So when people are talking on DMR, you get all this. Talk, talk alias is turned on, which means you don't have to have the CSV file. It just takes it out of the signal for you. 
So they're both dual band radios. There you go, A and B band, VHF, UHF, both radios, but the FT5 will receive both bands at the same time, but digital, you'll only hear one at a time, but you'll get the information. They both have Bluetooth. The Anytone's definitely bigger, and the battery is very juicy on the on the Anytone. It lasts for ages. The speaker's very loud. Now, they have improved the speaker on the FT5. It's louder than it was and more bassier. They've also added some extra settings in the menu there. Let's just remember how to get back to the main, to get into the main menu on the FT5. You go, you hold down the F menu and then you can, if you look at the TXRX, then go to digital and see that audio pitch, that's extra settings that are not in the FT3. And it's a bigger speaker. It's a one, one um, kilowatt speaker. So anyway, um, and then look, you've got to put your call sign in with a, a fusion radio. So this radio is C4FM. This is a DMR radio. Um, and you need, you know, on a DMR radio, you use talk groups. It will do VHF, UHF. I've got it programmed here to do both. It will display A and B band at the same time, but you only hear one at a time. Let's go back, Let's see if I can get it into single mode. It's a bit active, let's turn it up for you. Now I've got it on, the, on, the, on a quite a low volume setting. If you go settings, radio set, go to voice function. The menus are different than the previous 878. Go down to max volume and you can up it a bit. See, it gets very loud. It's a very loud radio. This is, the battery's like a brick. It's like a car battery has been described in the past. The um, FT5 has an SD card for programming. Use a code plug on this radio. As the, if I can get it open, for the uh, usual connect, you know, earpiece connector there. PTT, and then it's programmable buttons here and here, like most DMR radios, they have that. SD card is in here for the FT5. And you can use PDM mode on your computer, wires XPDN, you've got SD card there, DC supply. And you can even get a microphone for this to send photographs and then your speaker mic will go in there. They've added some styling here. It's a bit more curvier, the FT5, than the FT3. And they've added orange buttons and a, and a holster as well. But also they have LED lights for A and B band, which is quite cool. We'd like our... LED lights, you've got an LED light on the 878 there. Volume, channel change. Remember it's it's channels and zones. So you can go up and down the zones using this button here. Go through the zones like that. And you can, if you hold down P2, it'll go into single receive. It's when someone's talking, it won't do it, which is typical. A and B band here, just if you try and hold it down now. Yeah, I'll sub channel off. So now you can just go A and B band. So there's a, the B band there. And it, the screen will go black. I just at the moment prefer it in blue. They both have broadcast radio. Now I think I think you hold down that button on this one. Now you don't forget you you program this radio. There is a broadcast radio there. Remember you Remember, you um, program everything on on this radio. You, you you really you program it using your code plug. But they have designed the eight seven eight, so you can program everything um, using the actual radio. So it can be done. Yeah, there you go. To to scan, I do you go up and down like that. Haven't actually used the radio, but I'm sure there's a very simple way of scanning on the eight seven eight. I'll hold down the menu again. Let's have a look at these. So APRS, both work on that, SD card, wires X, yeah. Usual for your repeaters and local repeaters, all that kind of stuff. Loads of memory banks. You can scan. With the FT5, when you scan, um, you don't see the frequency, which is a bit of a weird one, because you do on the FT3. 
you can change the color of the frequency to, from blue to red. And they've come up with this new feature called cam. When you hold down this button, let's go on to the A band, let's try again. It won't let me do it, I wonder why. There's gonna be a reason, but there's a basically a quick, oh, here it goes there, look. See this cam feature? You hold it down. It's probably beeping because that frequency is already in the cam. Let's try a different frequency. Try it there. Look. It adds these little graphs and then you, it monitors the one that is active and you can tap it to change frequency to the, to the one that's active, like that. It's very neat, yeah. So, uh, right, so basically that's it really. Just um, both very nice radios. This one's about £400. These are under £200 now, I think. All the main sellers are selling them for under £200 now and you get a lot for your money. You get They both come with... Uh, no, actually, this one comes with a cradle charger. This one you've got to buy uh, the good batteries. You can actually, if I turn it off and on, you watch it. You can load an image up so that it boots up with uh, any image you want. We'll click that. There you go. There's an image I've added there. Um, it's quite cool, isn't it? So it Personalises the radio. So you'd be pleased with both of these radios. You can see it's gone back to its original brightness because that's what I've set it to in the in the code plug. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I know that, that it's not a comparison video, it's just to show them side by side. This one does feel a bit heavier, I suppose, and bigger. But they're both very, very nice ham radios and um, you have hours and hours of fun with them. 7.3, all the best.